Hey folks, my name is Alexey Vidanov and today I want to show you how to create the automatic backups for Amazon LightSail. LightSail is a virtual server that cost effective, fast and reliable with an easy to use interface and uh, plans now starting at uh, $3.50 per month with uh, larger RAM options available and uh, different concepts and the backups are really, really uh, powerful and we have different uh, zones and availability zones, non-nonsense monthly pricing and so on. But the problem is you cannot use actually the uh, automatic uh, backups. Uh, actually the service is uh, very good to start with and backups are no brain to use. They are very powerful, incremental and you pay only for the differences in your file. It means you cannot create a lot of backups without spending a fortune on them. It's a really um, good solution. But now you can uh, make it better if you create the uh, procedure for the automatic backups. And this solution is free of charge. You need to set it up once, and uh, you can you will see it's really easy to set it up. And then you don't need to worry about it. You can create daily, weekly, and monthly backups. Monthly backups. And uh, for this, you need just to follow the instructions and the whole process is 15 minutes um, or less. If you do it, uh, actually, you can see um, the uh, the settings. I You can keep daily backups uh, main, as many as you want. You can keep weekly backups as many as you want. And you keep monthly backups as many as you want. You can see here in the history for my a uh, simple solution where I put the uh, backups from month per month and then week per week and the daily backups uh, too. Uh, you uh, just need to start from the first step. You need to create um, identity and access management policy for your uh, function. Then you need to create the role that will execute your function and then you need to recreate the uh, Lambda function that we um, prepared for you and set up some uh, parts of it. It's uh, quite easy. Okay, uh, let's get started with the uh, step one. Uh, actually, you need to have a light cell instance. I suppose you have one. If not, then you need to have one. Then you go to the AWS Amazon.com console and search for uh, identity and access uh, rights management. You can go direct to the link, but I go through the account settings. I go to my account at first by AWS. Then I log in for it. And then I put here IAM. Uh, you can see in the uh, last used services, if you used it before, then you will see here in the link too. But we can go directly with the uh, search field. Then I need to create the uh, policy. The first one, first step, and I push the button create policy. I prepared JSON for you uh, to put it in. You take this JSON text and replace the text you can see here with it. Uh, the next, uh, you just push the button Review Policy until you gave. Uh, you need to give the name for the policy. I give. Uh, I used Light Sales Snapshots. Let's use it. Light Sales Snapshots. A. I put A so that. Uh, and for this description, because I have this uh, policy already, and I give the description at slide sale backups policy. Then I push the button create policy. Then I go to roles, and I need to create a role for the Lambda function execution. I use AWS service and I use Lambda in this case. 
and I push here uh, next in permissions. You can see all these steps here too. Create um, here. Then I will use um, AWS uh, Lambda basic execution role, the name, just, um, oh, sorry. Yes, uh, the, we need to find the permissions. We need the um, Lambda basic execution role that, so that the Lambda works. And we push here the checkbox, checked it. And another role that we uh, created, uh, just created the slide sale uh, snapshots row of A I have, and we push here another checkbox. Then I push next review, and you can see here the policies I connected to this role. It's a basic execution role and slide sale snapshots A. The role uh, name will be uh, in this case defined. Uh, and I give here A2 and I push the button create row. Okay, has been created. The next step we go again to the start of AWS console and, and we will uh, go this is step three. Congratulations, we, we have made the step one, step two, and this step three. And here I will search for lambda and push enter and now i can create the function that will make the backups for us i push the button create function here i use author from scratch i give the name to this function it's the name of your choice i give the name white sale backup a a node.js sex dot 10 I will use an existing row we created just now and I put here light sale snapshots row A and I push the button create function. We can see here this uh, light sale uh, in the uh, panel will be uh, executed to the work or Lambda function white sale backup A will work with Amazon late sale. It's uh, on the same account. Then I go to the uh, description here and I need in the panel at the trigger uh, CloudWatch events. This trigger will uh, execute our Lambda function automatically every day and our Lambda function will be creating the backups and delete the old ones and so on. Then I go in this panel, again at the top, at the trigger, I will put here CloudWatch events. Yes, and I can configure it, configuration required, and uh, here's the configure trigger. I will use existing rule, And I push here one day, sorry, daily, daily. Um, create a new rule. I will give the name daily. And the description uh, we don't need, and schedule description we can. Uh, put here rate one day. You can see here the same. Create a new rule, give the name daily, and section put rate one day and it push add button. Then we need to save the changes. Okay, the schedule expression rate one day. Every day this function will be executed. Then I click again on white sale backup A here so that I can change the function. I need to remove everything here and replace with the content of our Lambda function I, we created for you here. I just copy everything from here and paste here. The next step, 
I just need to adjust some parameters and the uh, lambda function as it's described in our readme document. You can see here, you can set the frequency of your backups. I will leave them as they are. And you can uh, select and uh, um, you, you can set up instances you want to backup with this function. In this case, I will use uh, my instance from the light sale. I can go to the console and I will use lambda function here. Uh, sorry, 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 it's a uh, light sale. Light sale, yes. I will use light sale here, and I have here one instance. I go to it, and I can see here the name of the instance. Just put it here in the instance name, and then I can see here EU central one. E we don't need, just one. And I go and put it in the region here. Then if I have more instances and different regions uh, actually too, I can put here the comma and put it again. And then I can put the different uh, instance name and different region or the same region. It's not my time. I will use only one in this case. And I push save. And now it's almost ready. We just need to go to the basic settings of the light cell backup and put timeout to one or more minutes. And one minute actually is okay. If you have more instances, you can put a longer timeout. And then we can create the sample test event. This hello world is okay. And that it will be a light sale test create and we can test our lambda function here in the console um, instantly this test and you can see in the details uh, actually what happens here you can see the um, the days today you can see um, the checkup uh, it kept backups from the um, before and if it creates it uh, no backup yes it will be created it means everything is green it works it's okay and then you can see the new backup created in snapshots and the history here you can see here the new one we created actually right now it's okay it works, it's great. Uh, we can delete them and it will be recreated actually then automatically. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact me through, uh, through GitHub. You can go to issues and create new issue. Some people, uh, if we take a look of uh, issues, uh, for example, this issue, we can see also some people say it nice and thank you, um, tips for success and so on. Anyway, I'm really happy to support you uh, for this Lambda function and uh, contact me and we will talk. Thank you so much. If you want to hire me, you can ask me too. Bye-bye.